Aloha and welcome to the Savvy Luminary, an astrology podcast for entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Leslie Tagorda, a brand astrologer, designer, and spiritual business owner who has helped hundreds of businesses and nonprofits go from stuck to unstoppable. I am here to inspire you to make confident and focused moves that shine the light on your business through astrological insight, brand strategy, and interviews with other spiritual business leaders. I believe you are here to share your magic and shine brightly like the luminary you are meant to be. Okay, let's dig into this week's episode. All right, so Mercury has started to go forward again. Thank goodness we're done with that first retrograde season. And as Mercury was going backwards, it now has to retrace its steps. So this is called the shadow period while it's going back to the place where it stopped and moved back forward, right? So Mercury went all the way back into Aquarius and now it's going to be re-entering Pisces. So while Mercury is in Aquarius, you were probably feeling a little bit more more (laughs) clear-headed, a little bit, but on March 16th, Mercury is going to be going into, back into Pisces and it's going to be staying into, in Pisces until the end of the month. Now, Mercury and Pisces, our thoughts don't come to us through our head and our intellect. We can't really think things through. Mercury and Pisces is about feeling things through. It is about trusting your intuition. So for the rest of your month uh, of the month, it's really important that you get out of your anxiety and fear, come to this place of calm so that you can trust your intuition. On March 19th, the sun enters Aries. It is the astrological new year. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac and the sun will enter Aries exactly at 11.50 p.m. Eastern, 8.50 p.m. Pacific on March 19th. When the sun enters Aries as a cardinal sign, this also signals the equinox. The equinox is when our days and our nights on the northern hemisphere, well, actually in the southern hemisphere also, will be equal. It's time to balance and to start new. In Aries, Aries in our business is all about self-starting. It's about courage. It's about our identity identity. Oh my goodness. It's so many important things about in our business. We have to start here when we look at our house systems for astrology. So I'll be talking way more about Aries in our next week's episode about new moon and Aries. So we can set some intentions about how we want to be seen in our brand. Yes, Aries. Okay. Another big shift. Mars will be meeting Jupiter in the sign of Capricorn on March 20th, exactly at 7.35 a.m. Eastern, 4.35 Pacific. What this means is that the planet of motivation and action and go get them is going to be dancing with the planet of expansion. So holy smokes, what this means is that whatever you're feeling in terms of anger, fear, action, motivation, all of those Mars feelings, right? Mars rules anger and you can really use anger constructively or unconstructively. It represents fear, not as like the the phobic fear like Pluto would represent, but like just kind of the anger-based fear and anxiety and like the motivation of like what you're going to maybe act upon because you're angry. That's all Mars, right? And so whatever you're feeling in terms of that kind of emotional energy is only going to get exacerbated, right? So we have a choice here. We have a choice to recognize our anger and our anxiety and this like need to like move and go, 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 go. That can explode like a wildfire under this Mars conjunct Jupiter. Or you have a choice to be able to recognize and concentrate this tremendous energy into a tool for good. 
Now, I mentioned earlier that the exactness, Mars being conjunct with Jupiter is going to be exact on March 20th, but we're already feeling it, right? Because Mars is approaching Jupiter right now. Right? So it's going to be exactly conjunct with Jupiter on March 20th, but we are leading up to it right now. We're already feeling it. So please be really, really conscious, right? And all of this, the Mar Mars and Jupiter is also getting close to Pluto, super slow moving Pluto that is still in Capricorn, that will be in Capricorn for a very long time, right? Mars and Jupiter is going to be going over Pluto in the coming weeks. And this idea of our already our anxiety and anger moving over this place of transformation and if unchecked transformation is like really like the phobic kind of fear like this this could be a total crisis if we don't recognize it for what it is right so please everybody i'm going to say this over and over and over again please do whatever you need to do to stay calm so that we can move from a place of intuition so we can move from a place of abundance and gratitude instead of fear right let us change and concentrate this wildfire energy that has total potential to burn out of control into the perfect example I somebody taught me this earlier was to bring that wildfire energy and concentrate it into a blowtorch a tool for transformation. What can you do with a blowtorch? You can weld structures together. You can weld metal together. You can build amazing things with a blowtorch with the power of all of that vital energy fire, right? So don't let this Mars conjunct Jupiter, let things blow out of control. Use all of your self-care to control the fire. It is time to ignite and take inspired action where you need to build strong foundations for your business and brand. How will you use this energy? Okay, here is the biggest shift that is happening. Planet Saturn enters Aquarius on March 21st at 11.58 p.m. Eastern and 8.58 p.m. Pacific. Now, what does this mean? Saturn, the archetype of restrictions and discipline and responsibility, is leaving its home base of Capricorn. It's been in Capricorn since December 2017, so it's been there for a while, right? Saturn stays in a sign for about two and a half years, right? So every two and a half years, you're going to feel this kind of structural shift in us, right? But because this is collective, we're looking at global, <laughs> we're looking at societal shift, right? So while Saturn was in Capricorn, you know, we were thinking about responsibility, we were thinking about processes, we were thinking about old structures, and we we're thinking about governments and institutions and all these heavy things that we think about, you know, Saturn being in Capricorn. But Saturn on March 21st is going to be going into humanitarian Aquarius, where it will be until May 10th. And because of our wonky retrograde system, Saturn is going to go back into Capricorn from May 10th through December 16th. So it's going to dip back into um, Capricorn, and then it's going to go back into Aquarius at the end of the year again on December 16th, where it will stay in Aquarius until March 2023. I know that's a lot. So let me recap that again. Saturn is going into Aquarius <laughs> on, the, on the 21st. It's going to stay there for a couple of months. Then it's going to go backwards into Capricorn because for the um, retrograde season. And then it's going to come back out of um, Capricorn on December 16th, 2020 at the end of the year. And where it will stay in Aquarius until March 2023. So we have a whole ton of Saturn in Aquarius. And I'm great with that. <laughs> <laughs> As an Aquarius sun, you know, when Saturn is there, it's asking us to care for humanity, not just for ourselves, right? It's asking us to create structures and responsibilities for all of humanity, for the community, not just for the leaders. So, phew. 
what a roller coaster with Saturn going into Aquarius, back into Capricorn, into Aquarius. But what this does is to give us time to continue to reintegrate all of the structures that we built for sustainability that's Saturn in Capricorn, that now asks us to look at how it's impacting our communities at large, right? Isn't this so beautiful how now the Capricorn and the Aquarius energies are combining so that we are building for sustainability and responsibility, not just for us, but for our communities. So, you know, if you really are serious about being seen and expanding your reach and you know being the luminary, it is time to care and create your communities. Create and cultivate your communities. Call in your people, right? And build out services that will enable them, right? This is what business is going to be about going into the future. This is what the pivotal shift is. It's about building structures and building services and building offerings that are going to serve communities at large. So if you're currently building new systems in your business and thinking about new offerings, how will these offerings really serve the whole and not just you? Please think about that because how you will lead now and with originality and innovation needs to serve for the betterment of all humanity in order for you to be a true luminary. We all have this responsibility to build in a new sustainable way that benefits all. It's our time to build our businesses in a new way that benefits all of society, that benefits all of humanity. So what does that mean for you? Who is part of your community? Who is part of your society? Who is part of your slice of humanity? And what will you build for them? Remember, you're not alone, right? I've created the Savvy Luminary Facebook group as a safe online space. So please come here to connect. Come here to share your worries. Come here to share your wisdom and inspiration. We are here to support you. I want to be your cheerleader. I want to show you that you have something valuable to share and that you are meant to be a luminary. So please join us and celebrate with us and realize that you're not alone. Mahalo for listening to this brand new podcast. If you enjoyed learning about astrology for entrepreneurs, help me spread the word by sharing this podcast with your business besties and hop over to The Savvy Luminary for links to episode notes and our free Facebook community where you can send me questions about astrology or branding as well as connect with other like-minded businesses. 